Welcome back to the collection this week and possibly the next week, depending on how quickly I flip through these books. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the Club Turbo catalogs. Um, I have three of them. I have Volume 1 from 1992, Volume 2, 1992 slash 1993, and then Volume 1, 1993. They're uh, numbered a little out of order. Not sure how complete these are. Let me just lay all three of them in here so we can see. And I think I'll switch it up between the episodes, though, because I need to zoom in, especially on this one. So let's see. Let's get started here, though. This is the oldest one. This is Volume 1, 1992. Uh, you can tell by the uh, image manipulation treatment here. They figured out how to stretch and distort, and that was good enough. So let's have a look through. I remember loving, I have always loved getting this kind of stuff in the mail. Uh, speaking of, I'll have to make sure that my address isn't on the back of all of them. Sorry about the wiggling here. Um, this first page is the only one that's printed a little differently. Three, four. I'm also doing this while standing up, so I can't see the full view. Uh, my camera screen is kind of blocked, so. Uh, I loved getting these kind of catalogs, though. Uh, it's got... It's like a little magazine. I would love to, kind of love to have been at NEC or, or Turbo Technologies at the time to work on this kind of stuff. Um, this is just a, uh, like a look at what was available on the Turbo Graphics in 1992. 10, I'm missing a page here. So, mostly I think it'll be kind of quiet, just flip through. Um, if any of them jump out at me, I might mention a few things. Shadow of the Beast always looked so cool, but I'm so terrible, so terrible at it. Uh, they, they, some of these were CD-ROM games. These were, this was still the era of the Turbo Graphics CD-ROM before the Turbo Duo. This was before they had a name for Zonk. He looks a little like Bonk, huh? Maybe we'll have a contest to name him. And here was a coming soon list. So now, what was what was this section? I thought it said, okay, new releases. We were up to new releases. Now we're just to the catalog of available titles. Mini advice. The power-up items change constantly through four phases. Try to avoid the attacking creatures as much as possible. No one actually played Adam's Family that wrote this. So feel free to pause if you want to get a closer look, but I might try and get through all three of these books. So those were all CD-ROM games up to that point. Now we're on to Turbo Chips. Aero Blaster is one of my favorites. Alien Crush. Battle Royale, I was real into. I cannot play that game anymore. Obviously, Bonk's Adventure. And Bonk's Revenge. I think I rented Cat Ash on Turbo Graphics. I don't think I ever owned it. Devil's Crush. Deep Blue always looked interesting. But I don't, I don't know if I've even played a ROM of it at this point. Ninja Spirit. I'm basically just calling out the ones that I own at this point, which is not many. I played a lot of this version of R-Type, but I don't, I don't own it. Silent Debuggers always seemed really cool, but I, I don't think I could figure it out as a kid. I wanted this version of Tailspin to be so much better than the NES one, but it is not. Can you believe we're up to page 48 already? 
Vegas Tactical Gladiator. That was uh, that was a childhood favorite and another one I didn't quite understand what was going on, but the sprites were real big, so I was way into it. Oh, I wish I had all of these things. I wish I had any of those things. Finally, a new multi... Media Game Magazine. Turbo Force! We'll take a look at uh, the few issues of Turbo Force that I have soon. All right, so there's volume one. That was only five minutes, so... Let's go ahead and see if we can squeeze in... Volume two, 1992 slash 1993. Turbo Technology brings you the latest and greatest video games for your... Turbo Graphic 16 or Turbo Duo. Bam, right inside cover. Oh wait, that's not, wait. Nope, I was right. Right inside cover, Cosmic Fantasy 2. We didn't have anywhere else to stick it. This one's a little more magazine-like. Oh yeah, wasn't I saying on an old video that I needed to get something to hold down pages, not just Jenga blocks? There you go, if you wanna catch all the detail there, have a pause. Oh, you're gonna be like this for a little while. A lot of this is just a different layout of the stuff that was in the previous catalog. Good screenshot of Camp California. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video how blurry this page printed. Lords of Thunder, so good. This very tiny ad for the Turbo Duo. Not the best, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. Put the black thing on a black background and it'll just look cool, I guess, uh, which I usually stand by, but for the sake of that ad, it just kind of makes it hard to tell what you're looking at. I almost thought Dead Moon would be cool because of this giant Gamera. Uh, by this point, they had settled on Zonk for his name. Was never super crazy about him being called Zonk. Taito Arcade Smash! Seven. We're missing a page here. Summer Assault. Um, this looks sort of like they took these screenshots, like, pointing a camera at the TV. They're a little crooked. Summer Assault's a weird game. Shockman. Also kind of a weird game. I also wanted this version of Darkwing Duck to be awesome, but it's just not, I don't think it's that great. And Bomberman 93, of course. This is the only Bomberman I need in my life. Sorry, Saturn Bomberman. And another ad for Turbo Force. All right, well, that didn't take so long. Let me, hmm. I don't, I don't actually wanna try and move the, uh, Sorry, move the tripod down, so we'll just take a look at this one. I used to have a lot of copies of this. This is my last one that I could find, and it looks like it is still sealed. So let me make sure I get a nice sharp 4K focus on that. As I tear this open, oh my god. The rarest unboxing of all. An unboxing of a uh, pamphlet. So now we're up to Club Duo, Volume 1, 1993. I guess once it got to be 1993, they decided to reset the volume numbers. I'm not sure. I've always been a little confused. Ooh, it's going to be a little sticky. Bam, right off the bat. Look at Godzilla on Super CD. Would you just look at it? Coming in November. So let's get started. Oh, boy. I will try to hold these down here.
you can tell they're getting more serious because the, the paper and the print job is getting better and better with each issue. You know, even with the availability of ROMs, I still have not played Bonk 3. Like, not more than just a couple minutes. I had a real, I don't know why, I had a real uh, turn on it when it first came out. I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, Macross. This was, this was maybe my first exposure to whatever Macross was. Um, I don't think this, this never came out in the U.S., but they advertised it here. Um, I just recently watched the first season of Robotech. Uh, but my memories, like most of what I know of Macross and Robotech, come from seeing ads in for the Turbo Duo games. Here's another version of 2036. Still trying to get through season two of Robotech. It's just, it also rubbed me the wrong way. But maybe that's for a different video. That's the only thing in these catalogs for sure I know didn't come out. Well, it didn't come out in the U.S. anyways. Turbo Force. Okay, so that's not... Where do you order this from, though? Where do you... Where do you order these? I'm not sure where you order these from. Uh, but it's possible that this might be where I got my Turbo Duo from. Eventually, maybe we'll do a uh, console unboxing of that, because it is in fantastic. Um, but anyways, all right, there we go. There's, uh, let me get them in here for the thumbnail. Three issues of Club Turbo catalogs uh, between 1992 and 1993. Um, they're really cool little books to have. It's like a nice snapshot of the company as it went from NEC to TTI. And their lineups, like what they expected each year and like each quarter. Um, so I, I really like that I still have these because they're not, not even like uh, Turbo Force that you could subscribe to and get. Uh, like delivered, like something you'd pay for. Uh, these were sent for free or uh, they might have been sitting out at like software etc or babbages i'm just trying to rearrange these so when i get the thumbnail i get a couple options here but thanks for watching um i'll be back with more turbo graphics turbo duo stuff in a future episode i'm glad i didn't have to break this into three episodes thanks for watching